I tried the phone numbers. I just couldn't get through, and I'm like, I got to come in person and just line up with everybody else. Line up with everybody else. There is good reason to do that. In 2017, Canadian mobile customers paid more than anyone else in the world for service in most cases. In a plan with one gigabyte of data, customers in Canada paid over $70 a month. The runner-up was Germany at 64, and the gap just widened with bigger data plans. Canadians paid about $9 a month more for two gigabytes. For five gigabytes, we paid $22 more than the Germans nearly $30 more than customers in the U.S. So who pays the least? People in Singapore, Hong Kong, and parts of China. Jacqueline Hansen now on what rattled the big three. The lineup at this Rogers store doesn't look that long, but the wait sure is. I've been waiting here for over an hour now. For a discount being offered for a short time by all three of Canada's big telecom providers. It's the last day for customers to get in on it. I've also tried online and calling, and not, none of those have worked. The rush is overwhelming the carriers. On Twitter, Bell is telling customers that it is experiencing very high call volumes. TELUS is also apologizing for long wait times, saying demand far exceeded our expectations. Why all the frenzy? Canadians are used to paying some of the highest cell phone prices in the world. I think in other cities and other countries, right, it seems so much less restricted and I think there's a lot more competition between the uh, telecom providers and people have so much choice. So why are the big three offering a deal now? Because a smaller competitor is shaking things up. Life's a big gig. Freedom Mobile used to be the small startup Wind Mobile, but Calgary-based Shaw Communications bought it and rebranded. And now it's trying to compete with the big three with deals like this, 10 gigabytes for $50. It's kind of behooved some of the uh, bigger players, Bell, TELUS and Rogers, to start offering more competitive data plans. But for the most part, only in the provinces where Freedom Mobile is also operating. Still, for those watching the industry, this could be a step in the direction of real long-term competition. But realistically, Freedom Mobile still has a long way to go until it is as competitive as Rogers, TELUS and Bell. The entire industry could be set for more change, forced by the renegotiation of NAFTA. The U.S. has expressed interest in opening up the Canadian telecom market to U.S. players. Competition that could seriously challenge the dominance of Canada's big three and potentially push prices lower. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto. There's another notable difference between Canadian and American cell phone plans. All major U.S. carriers offer unlimited data plans, but they are tough to find in Canada. And some providers defend the usage-based approach as really what's needed to pay for the building of high-speed networks in Canada. Some analysts point to the lucrative nature of data limits. About 47% of Canadians exceeded their data cap in 2015, leading, of course, to all those extra charges. 